Hey! If you're in a clan, I'm sure you've seen some clog spam before. And I love seeing clog spam so much that I want to see how many I can stack and spam the clan chat for hours on end. I want to go for some sort of record of the most collection logs obtainable in 24 hours. The way I see it is there are two ways to look at this. How many collection logs I can for sure stack and how many collection logs are possible to stack. Starting out looking at the boss log, there's not much we can stack here. We could potentially count stacking totems as stacking the Skatizo log, or stacking giant and mossy keys as stacking the Bryo and Obor logs, but with how, many, with how long doing the clue scrolls would take in between this, it can't really be justified as stacking. However, we do have the Temporos and Winter Tot logs that would be fairly easy to stack. To me, stacking points for a pet doesn't seem worth it, so I won't be stacking any for Winter Tot. But Temporos has the Spirit Angler outfit I can save the flakes for, which gives us our first four realistic logs. We could potentially stack enough points for the Winter Tot pet, Temporos pet, and Big Swordfish, so there are seven potential log slots. Looking at the raids log, each raid has five capes that can be saved up for 100, 500, 1000, 1500, and 2000 completions. I plan on saving up the 1000 kill count capes for each raid before cashing in, for a total of 9 collection log slots because I'll get 3 capes from each raid. You could potentially wait until 2000 of each raid for a total of 15 collection logs, log, collection logs all at once. In the minigames tab, we can save up enough points to buy all of the Barbarian Assault rewards. You can sell rewards back for a portion of the cost, so it won't take that long. I have two of the rewards already, so this should be an easy 8 collection log slots, with the potential for one more for the gambles being the pet. I'm only missing the hook from the Brimhaven Agility Arena, but it is a guaranteed collection log that I can save up for, so I will go for it. Castle Wars has a massive 39 clog slots. I ended up getting one of the halos for an old bingo in one of my clans, so I can only get 38 slots from here. I already have enough tickets, so this is already 38 guaranteed collection logs that are done. All of the Giants Foundry collection logs are also guaranteed, so I can stack up 10 collection log slots here as well. I can stack up Pearls and Guardians of the Rift, but that means spending my gambles, so I likely won't be stacking the dies, pet, and locket. I will be stacking the Guardian's Eye and the Ring of Elements for two collection log slots. I am tempted a little bit to buy the Ring of Elements for some clue scrolls. If that happens, I'll only be able to stack one slot, but I think I'll probably hold off on that and stack two slots. I did quite a bit of Sepulchre, but I foolishly spent my extra marks on the bags they have. Even so, I can come back here for a little bit just to get enough for 3 guaranteed slots. Last Man Standing has 32 collection logs you can stack up, but I bought the Granite Handle hoping it would help with Bosanis, so I am only able to potentially stack 31 logs here. You can sell some of the items back. So, I believe you only need around 1,550 points to buy everything. The capes are the hardest to stack though. You need a thousand wins for the biggest cape. I will probably only get up to the 100 win cape, so I won't get the 500 and 1,000 caps. So, realistically, I'll only stack 29 collection logs here, but if I decide to go for it, I could stack 31 here. I'll be able to stack 5 collection logs from Magic Training Arena. Having done this in leagues with the times 8 multiplier, I'm not really excited for this one, but put on a good Netflix show. Pest Control has two very quick collection logs I can stack, nice and easy. Soul Wars has two guaranteed collection logs I can stack, with the potential of a third being the pet if I stack some points. I think this pet's not too rare, so I, I actually might do this one. I can stack three collection logs over at Tithe Farm, 
it would be in my best interest to not stack these as the set gives bonus experience, but I'm not too worried about experience, so I plan on stacking them anyways. Trouble Brewing is another massive log with 30 slots. Like most irons, I've already bought the stuff for the brewing part, so I can only stack 29 clogs here. And surprise, surprise, I've already completed this grind, so I'm just holding on to these pieces of eight. Volcanic Mine has three slots we can stack up, with a potential for a fourth slot by gambling for the Broken Dragon Pickaxe. Aerial Fishing has four slots we can stack up. The Golden Tench is randomly obtained, so we can't really stack up that one. I'm missing five of the Chompy Bird Hunting Cats, so I'll be stacking those up. Additionally, I should get the pet along the way, but that won't be a stacked collection log. That'll just be a weird pet. Forestry has a whopping 15 clogs that you can save up. You can't store up the two pet transmogs or the sturdy beehive parts, so it's just the stuff in the store that I'll be buying. In the miscellaneous section, you could argue the Dragon Fool Helm can be stacked, but I won't be doing that. But it is still a potential slot because it's really quick to burn through the chewed bones. The Mining Gloves can all be saved up by AFK Mining Amethyst, so there's three collection logs I can store. The Evil Chicken Outfit is a tough one. I'm saving up all my eggs and there are four slots there, but they are each a 1 out of 1,200 rate. I do think I'll have over 1,000 eggs by the time I cash them in, so I'll say I can realistically get about two pieces, but potentially I could get four. The Dragonstone Armor is a really tough one. I'll have maybe 200 or 300 keys when I cash in, but each piece is 1 out of 2,500. There's potentially four more slots here, as I already have one piece, but realistically, I don't think I'll get any. Both of the colored egg sacks are a 1 out of 25 rate from Grubby Keys, so I should be able to guarantee both of those by stacking the Grubby Keys from Seracnus. The Merfolk Trident is also a guaranteed slot I can stack from the Mermaid Tears. All of the monkey backpacks can be stacked up. I'm just waiting till a clan agility event so I can steal a bond while doing it. There's another guaranteed six collection logs. Shooting Stars has two collection logs to stack and I believe I already have enough dust for them so I don't have to worry about those two. In the Slayer section, we have the Broken Dragon Hosta, the Fool Dusk Mystic, and Fool Dagonhai. The Hosta is 1 out of 200, the Dusk Mystic is 1 out of 1k, and the Dagon High is 1 out of 256. I plan on having enough Laron and Brimstone Keys to get all of these, so that will be 8 logs stored up. I've already got quite a few, but I'll be filling most of my boss collection logs through Konar Slayer, so I'm hoping to get many, many more. This brings us to the most difficult log to predict what we can stack up. Clues. Not only are none of the collection logs guaranteed from clues, you often have to pause to do your masters. This makes it difficult to see how many collection logs we can get from our stack within a 24 hour time limit. Beginner clues don't give masters though, so these are very easy to spam open and get log slots. I plan on stacking 600 of these for two reasons. The first being the explore emote, and the second being that when I use the collection log simulator at oldschool.gg, I usually finish this log around 600. I already have two of the beginner log slots, so there's a potential of 14. Realistically, I'll say I'll get 13 though, just in case. None of the clue logs after this have a realistic chance to be completed, unless I obtain way, way too many. Hard clues and elite clues come naturally from bossing, slayer, and raids, so I won't have to go too much out of my way to obtain these. Easy and medium clues though, I'll have to go out of my way to stack these up. My plan is to stack up 2,000 easy caskets and 1,000 medium caskets before opening. 
Masters clues come at a rate of 1 out of 50 from easies and 1 out of 30 from mediums, so I should end up with 40 masters from the easies and 33 from the mediums. I currently have 73 easy collection log slots, so I could potentially get 58 more. Using the oldschool.gg simulator again, on average, after 2,000 clues, I'm missing 7 collection log slots, so I think I can realistically get 51 more slots from 2,000 caskets. Moving on to the medium log, I am currently at 48 out of 115, so I can potentially get 67 more collection logs. Using the same simulator I have been using, on average there were 5 items remaining at 1,000 openings, so I can realistically get 62 more clogs from these. I plan on stacking 1,000 hard caskets as well before opening. This is because I still need the Zami Fool Helm and Black Dragon Mask, and I want to make sure I get them so I can complete my masters. I'm currently at 42 collection log slots, so there's a potential for 92 more slots. Using the old school simulator, I was missing 12 hard items on average, so I should realistically get 80 more slots from these. And masters come at a rate of 1 out of 15 from hards, so I should get 67 masters from the hard caskets. I will probably only be able to stack up 500 elites, possibly more depending on how the raids luck and wilderness boss luck goes. But for this, I'm going to assume 500. I'm currently at 12 slots for the Elite Log, so there are potentially 37 more slots. The simulator has it on average of 15 items remaining for the log after 500 clues, so realistically I'll get about 22 slots and 100 master clues. I'm not factoring in the rare tables from the hard, elite, and master clues. Third Age and Gilded are too rare for me to even think about realistically. That being said, doing the simulations, I saw them pop up quite a few times, so it would be cool if it actually happens. I should get the Peaceful Blessing while opening the clue slots, so there's one realistic slot on the shared table. After all is said and done, I should end up with 240 Master Caskets. I currently only have 6 master slots, so there are 43 potential collection logs here. Using the simulator, after 240 caskets, there are usually 20 items remaining on the log, so I can expect about 23 master slots. I should get 16 mimics from the masters and 14 from the elites for a total of 30 mimics, so it's a pretty decent chance at the Ring of Third Age. So, it looks like I can realistically stack 449 clogs with the potential of it being up to 530, which, I mean, we know it wouldn't happen, but potentially. Um, the big issue, though, is I am going to stack these, but I don't see any way I open all of these within 24 hours. So, there are a ton of collection logs obtainable from Master Caskets, and I do plan on stacking them up like I just discussed. But that's 240 master clues, I don't think there's any way to do that in one day. Most of the other collection logs that are stackable are very quick to redeem. The clues are gonna... it's gonna make this a bit tough to see how many collection logs I can actually get in 24 hours, because I would be crazy to not do the master clues. In order to complete 240 master clues in 24 hours, I would have to be able to complete a master clue every 6 minutes doing absolutely nothing else for 24 hours. So that means I'm going to have to kind of choose how I open my clue caskets. I figure I should be able to cash in all my other collection logs before the clue scrolls within 2 hours. So after that I'll have 22 hours to see how many collection logs I can get from clues. Realistically, I think I should be able to complete a master in 15 minutes, so in 22 hours I should be able to complete about 88 masters. So let's reset the realistic clogs to right after the beginners and relook at how many I can do before the 24 hours is up. If I open just half all the clues I stack and none of the elites, I should be able to get 23 slots from easies, 
43 slots for mediums, 59 slots from the hards, and 70 master caskets. I don't want to open the master caskets until I have all of them stacked up, just because that sounds like more fun. I'll be able to get about 15 more master caskets in my remaining time from elite clues, so I could open about 75 elites, getting about 3 collection log slots. Looking at all of this, if I stack things up correctly, I think I can get 337 slots in 24 hours. The total opening will take 2-3 to three days, but I should be able to end up with 449 clogs stacked with a very unrealistic potential of up to 530. If you're interested in watching any of the stacking or progression of this goal, I upload progress videos to my Collection Grandmaster series. Please let me know if I did any of the math for this video wrong, or if there are any other collection logs I can stack up. The goal is to spam the CC so much with clogs that I end up getting kicked. If you enjoyed the video, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Have a fantastic day.